Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. So, bit of controversy. Um, Sandy Ryan and uh, Jessica McCaskill fight to a split draw. One guy had it 97-93 to McCaskill. Another judge had it 96-94 and then there was a 95-95. Look, I had this 97-93 to... Sandy Ryan, 96-94, I could have accepted. A draw's really pushing it. And the idea that, uh, as one judge said, uh, Jessica McCaskill won seven rounds to three. I have no idea what that guy was watching. No idea at all. <clears throat> I think Sandy Ryan can feel very, very hard done by. That's not to say that McCaskill didn't win rounds. I mean, I know the commentary... Um, Sonny Edwards was, was part of the commentary team for this fight on the zone, and I like Sonny Edwards as a commentator. I think he's a very, very good uh, commentator. He's got a future career there. He was saying, oh, you know, I don't think um, Jessica McCaskill won a round. I wouldn't go that far. I, I think she pinched a few rounds. Uh, the fight started. Um, first of all, let, let, let's point out that Sandy Ryan is a huge welterweight. I mean, she's the WBO champ. Um, Jessica McCaskill looked look tiny compared to her, and McCaskill in her previous fight fought uh, Chantel Cameron. She moved down to 140, and she looked strangely uh, like away with the fairies in that fight. Like her mind just wasn't on the on her job, and and um, Chantel easily beat her. But that was a very strange performance by McCaskill. Very sort of subdued and timid, and like a like she was just floating around the ring really mentally. I mean. So, but the fact that she made 140, I don't think it was the weight that, that put up with that strain, that, that caused that strange performance. I just think that her mind wasn't on her work. But certainly back at 147, she looked tiny compared to um, Sandy Ryan. And to be honest with you, the first couple of rounds, McCaskill did very little. And Ryan, I thought, pinched those two rounds. In the third round, McCaskill sort of exploded and started to put it on Ryan and was, you know, very, very uh, aggressive. Um, throwing those huge, hard, thudding punches in two, twos and threes, and uh, excuse me, it's early in early in the morning. It is now two two fifty ten to three in the morning in Britain. So if I'm yawning, it's not the fight. It's just the fact I've been up all day. Anyway, um, yeah, in the third round, McCaskill. That's, I definitely gave it the third. I thought she was, and she was putting it on the bigger woman. And Sandy was was uh, had been trying to box she likes to tear up as well um fourth round was a bit more subdued but the fifth again McCaskill really put it on her and I gave her the fifth, McCaskill the fifth although by the seventh they really were exchanging and there, were, there was one round it might have been the seventh was it the fifth or the seventh where they were really exchanging hard punches and you know Sandy would get McCaskill on the ropes would start banging away but there was some really really good work that might have been the seventh round really good body work by Ryan to both sides of McCaskill's rib cage and there was a particular left hook that I think actually hurt McCaskill and she dropped her arm was was sort of covering her liver and um uh, I don't know whether, whether Sandy realized that she had her that badly hurt but but the rounds were ticking by and it was it was a, a case of um McCaskill sort of fighting in spurts um, and at times looking okay but she was missing with a lot of punches as well I thought I thought overall the impression I got was that Ryan was was landing more consistently um, but the, the tenth round was a the ninth was pretty good but the tenth was a real tear up they were exchanging punches uh, I think at one point McCaskill was on the ropes and Sandy was railing on her and she just fought her way off him it was a good fight a really good world title fight like I say uh, Sandy Ryan was WBO champ and um, WBA, WBA and WBC belts and the IBO were held by McCaskill when they announced the result as a split draw the American crowd were booing McCaskill and cheering Sandy Ryan the girls were interviewed in the ring McCaskill was like well you know it was a close fight yeah we can do it again Sandy was very sort of um magnanimous despite the fact you know it was a draw at least he didn't lose at least he didn't totally rob her but I have to say I thought Sandy Ryan won this fight um I had it 97-93 to Sandy but anyway it is what it is they'll probably do it again the rematch seems like a natural what did you think did you see this it's a it was on the zone card 
uh, Hitchens uh, Zapata undercard. Um, yeah, I think Sandy Ryan won that fight definitely, but but McCaskill, you know, at times she looks strangely. She's a funny fighter because some rounds she looks like she's she's just not concentrating or she's not interested, and then she'll suddenly explode. And she's thirty nine now, so maybe the age is is playing a part. Whereas Sandy Ryan is thirty. Um, and the size difference, I mean, Ryan is going to move up to 154 at some point, surely. Uh, or maybe McCaskill is just such a small welter that she's been fighting out of a weight division for so long. I don't know. I don't know. But have a look at it if you haven't seen it. It's on DAZN. Tell me what you think. Comments below as usual. And um, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. Please do that. Looking forward to reading your comments. Bye for now.